Yo guys, I may have been in plat for a while, but I finally got back into diamond. So this video, I'll show you some highlights from my rank up game. And I'm also trying something new with this video. I'm just gonna sit back and chill and talk to you guys about my life and just things in general. Stuff I've been going through, stuff that's been on my mind. Be sure to like and subscribe to help me get to 900 subscribers and enjoy the video. There's two hot. Life is life is crazy. But I mean, a lot of people in my community, a lot of my friends know I've been going through a hard time for the last years. And I mean, I could chalk it up to a few things. I've talked about it a little bit on YouTube, but uh, honestly, recently something that's been getting me down. I haven't really talked about this publicly at all, but honestly, a breakup. Breakups suck ass. I guess, I mean, I guess life, you know, whatever. Things happen. People grow apart. And you make mistakes and stuff. But personally, I just feel so stuck in like, I don't know, a very in my head just feel so negative and i've been depressed for like a long time and it's not just like a breakup that gets me down like a lot of real life things i would say breakup is very much so real life things but life just gets wicked sometimes man it's unforgiving it's unpredictable and i don't know personally i just thought things in my life were gonna go one way and they just ended up going like a whole different direction <laughs> i mean shit happens things change and i know i gotta like move on but for some reason, for me personally, like, I feel like I'm horrible at that. I feel like not only like when it comes to people, not just like partners, but just people in general, like I'm not very good at like leaving them in the past. I don't know. I, I get really attached to people, I think. Something I forget though, like, you know, time is like a big factor. You guys probably didn't click on this video thinking I was going to talk about like life and like relationships and breakup and being sad. <laughs> but I mean, that's just kind of where I'm at. Yeah, I forget. I forget like being down for so long and going through things for so long it definitely makes things harder like it makes that pain like a lot heavier honestly and i'm super impatient so like i don't really express my feelings all the time i actually like if there were olympics for avoiding your feelings i'd win gold i'd bring it home for the u.s every fucking four years i'm like the best at ignoring my feelings no joke not not that that's a flex but like it's just a bad habit of mine it's just a, in my nature and it's 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 so tough bro I, I know I got my flaws. We all got our flaws and stuff. But yeah, this is some stuff I've been dealing with lately. And it just sucks ass. I don't know, but you know, I'm not perfect. And I make mistakes and life gets fucking wicked. You know, people say, people say that everything happens for a reason. I don't know if I, I mean, that's like a way to look at it. I feel like that's a way to look at things. Like, yeah, you could say that. Like, fuck it. Everything happens for a reason. Sure. But I think in reality, and it might be like super pessimistic. I think shit just happens. You do shit, shit happens to you. I kind of think it is what it is. I don't know if there's like a grand scheme of things, but that's one way to look at it and maybe to make yourself feel better about life. Like, yeah, it's just part of the plan. Like, it's for the better. That definitely seems more positive than shit just happens. I don't know. I usually think you have like a lot of control over your life. And like, if you want something, you can kind of make things go in that direction. Like you can build the life that you want. And so when things kind of fall through, kind of just stings a little more. Cause like, yo, like, I was kind of hoping that this shit would pan out. I could either say it's like everything happens for a reason or I just couldn't make shit happen. That one seems really harsh because I guess I can't really control everything. Shit is kind of just out of out of your hands sometimes. And that's like another problem I have is just trying to control everything. I don't know, trying to have a death grip on everything and just control things and like make them the way you want all the time. I guess it's not very reasonable or realistic. 
Because I might want a bunch of shit, but, you know, life isn't really that straightforward. And I think, like, over the last few years, I've just been learning that. I think also, like, I've been kind of rejecting that, too, you know? Resisting, which makes it hard. If I just, like, surrender to fate and reality, I guess. I probably could have saved myself a lot of heartache. This is the type of stuff I think about, like, all day. I write about it a lot lately. Ultimately, I, life is not about this trivial shit. I know that, but... I don't know, after being in it for so long, I guess I'm just struggling to get out of that headspace and really focus on stuff that's important and focus on the future instead of like the last shitty couple years. And it wasn't all shitty. I could honestly talk about this for hours, but I'm trying to get out of this head loop. I gotta stop like talking about it and thinking about it all the time. So besides that, uh, I've been streaming a lot more. I've been playing a lot of uh, Valorant. I think I'm actually like getting a lot better again. But yeah, I'm seriously hoping to hit Radiant. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I wanted to hit Radiant before my trip in June. Me and my sister were going to... Yeah, me and my sister are going to uh, Europe. We're visiting... We're visiting like five different countries. So I'm really excited. So I don't think I'll be able to hit Radiant before then, which is going to suck because I'm going to go on vacation for two weeks. Then I'm going to come back and I'll be terrible. But yeah, I'm pretty much just focusing on hitting Radiant. Um, I should be streaming a lot more soon. I should be making a schedule any day now. So make sure you're following on Twitch if you aren't already. And yeah, besides working on my job, planning this Europe trip, and gaming, I think that's about go all I got going on. And besides trying to get my head out of the gutter still. And breakups are heavy, bro. It wasn't even really recent. I think everything's kind of hitting me delayed, though. Because I ignored my feelings for a fucking long time. I think everything else is just kind of a lot of overcoming myself. Which sounds kind of silly, but I'm sure some people know what I mean. You know? They say you're your biggest critic, you're your worst enemy. You know? Nothing else, like, no one else really fucks with me. And my life, like, my actual, like, day-to-day -day life is not bad. It's actually pretty great. I've been trying to be more, like, grateful and just count the things I'm grateful for in life, which is a very, very long list. So that definitely helps if you guys are uh, feeling under the weather and depressed. I definitely recommend that. I want to get a tattoo soon. That's something I haven't really talked to many people about. Um, I've been wanting to get a tattoo for a while. Uh, I want to get one for my brother. I, I mean, I always talk about my brother, no bullshit. But yeah, my brother Nick. Um, but I have an idea. I have, I've had an idea for a long time, but it's more of a money thing. I'll have to see when I can uh, get it done and afford it. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get the tattoo or not. I already have one tattoo, but I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't really want to be like super tatted. Not that there's anything wrong with being super tatted up. I just think I like like the more clean, not tatted look for my skin. So if anything, if I'm still going to do this, I'm thinking of getting like Boba Fett from Star Wars playing the cello because <laughs> my brother played the cello. I think that'd be sick. And he really likes Star Wars. I think that was his favorite character. So if anything, I'll get it somewhere that's like not super visible all the time. Probably like my thigh or somewhere on my upper body. Oh, but we'll see. How long do I actually think it'll take me to hit Radiant? What are we in, May? Okay, definitely by the end of the year. I'm peak ascendant. I think no, no bullshit, not glazing myself. I think I can get ascendant again pretty soon. Immortal. Dude, I want to say that vacation is fucking two weeks though. Definitely by my birthday, September. Definitely by September, I think I can hit Radiant. Maybe, hope, obviously, hopefully sooner. We'll have to see. Yeah, I've been, actually, I've been thinking about going back to therapy. That's like the last thing I'll say about where I'm, where I'm at mentally. I don't think I'm going to go. I think if I did go, it would help. But I also think I just could help myself right now. And I have been recently opposed to like probably the last year. So I think I'm on the up and up. I've never really said that. So I hope I really mean it. I'm pretty sure I do. I think I'm actually, like, gonna get out of this hole I've been in for a long time. It's just gonna fucking take some time, man. Oh, fucking tee up. Tee up, deadlock. Tee up, then, man. Give tee deadlock their ace, bruh. There's no way, right? Yo, let deadlock ace. They said ace or lose. Wait, this, this stage. This stage is playing. For reals. I'm scared. Going A, I think. Yo. <laughs> Yo, do I let him ace or do, I, do, we, do, we, do I just try to win? <laughs> yo 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 that was oh my god wait did i lose i lost oh my god i lost okay thank god that's not right they said shit on they were locked in for that dude nah that's actually funny all right i'm gonna end the video there thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end i love you um i'll catch you next time have a beautiful day if Drake shooters doing TikToks, nigga, really shooting in your gang. That's P's brother, y'all ain't getting shit shot.